Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today we're back at it. You know where to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna sound a little more excited. More excited than Courtney. Yes, we're gonna talk about Courtney, but also Kim. We're going to talk about the Kim versus Courtney feud over the years. Like we're on season four of the Kardashians, and they're still at it. They're getting nastier. So I think we can all like assess and know that this is deeper, deeper than Dolce. <laughs> deeper than Dolce. You know, <laughs> keeping up was a whole 20 seasons. We're now on season four of the Hulu version of the Kardashians. So that's 24 seasons of drama, family fights, well, sister rivalries or fights or whatever. Mm. So we just kind of want to understand like what has gotten them to this point, you know? Um, we're going to talk about, I guess, a few big instances where, you know, fights were nasty mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Um, Kim and Kourtney Kardashian have had their fair share of on-camera disagreements over the years. And fans of Eeks, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, have watched Kim and Kourtney repeatedly go head-to-head -head since the early days of their hit reality TV series, which began in 2007. How long is that? Years. That is a long, long time. So over 15 years later, the sisters have continued to feud with viewers now watching the drama unfold on the family's Hulu show, The Kardashians. The timeline of Kim and Courtney's beef includes years of yelling, cursing, and even physical altercations, which makes it, you know, when it got physical, I, I actually got really, really sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about nine memorable feuds. I guess one of the latest ones, or the most recent one to memory, the Dolce and Gabbana drama. You guys already know what happened. This was on season three of the Kardashians on Hulu. So I don't even know where to recap. I'm sure you guys know. In this season, fans saw Kim plan and execute a fashion show with designers Dolce & Gabbana. Courtney accused Kim of copying her looks from her wedding to Travis Barker and using her wedding as a business opportunity in conversations with Kendall and Chloe. Uh, she became emotional when speaking with Kendall, expressing how the situation upsets her before she started crying. Courtney's wedding was sponsored by Dolce & Gabbana. Mm -hmm. Kim then expressed that she thought she had been mindful when choosing the looks for her show. Kim mentioned that she wanted to wait a year before doing this collaboration, but Dolce & Gabbana wanted to do it sooner. Ultimately, it was a great opportunity and she didn't want to pass it up. Kim also expressed that she was in communication with Courtney about the show. Courtney said that people think it's a misunderstanding. It's not. It's who she is to her core. Again, materialistic, opportunistic, self-centered. Yes, Kim is all these things. And I think Kim herself would probably even tell you that she's all these things. But to the extent of which Courtney took things, Maybe she's not as ugly anymore. Maybe her attitude isn't as bad as it was during the keeping up days. Maybe therapy has helped her. I hope it has. But it all still feels like there was something deeper than all of that that was going on. And that she's just not. Like you can't, you cannot expect to come to a resolution with someone if you're not honest about what it is that you're really thinking and feeling. You're going to keep having two very different conversations like we saw in the premiere of season four. Two very different conversations. But this, isn't this very reminiscent of the copycat spat? She says, it's so, Courtney said, it's so ridiculous uh, that we're even having this conversation because Kim and I have completely different styles. And this is like a quote directly from her. Right. So even if we wear the same designer, we wear it in completely different ways. Yeah, and now she's saying what that copy my nineties vibe. Yeah, Kim decided to to um do the same kind of style, which is like <sighs> if anything, Kim is consistent. She is seeking the opportunity and seizing right. the moment all yeah. the time. You're right. I think this this has been an interesting uh 
like experiment on just running down the timeline, seeing how things have happened and how like, again, like I'm saying, Kim is not blameless, but you're right. She has been very consistent in her way of being. If anything, the difference now would be, or the difference I would say began like towards the end of keeping up when Kim finally started standing up for herself in different ways. And, you know, like was actually battling things out with her because I think that Kim in the past, she was, you know, the one that they would gang up on and which is kind of like the punching bag. Eventually she seemed to kind of like get some nerve herself to like, you know, handle things on her own. And I'm sure that like, I'm sure it's got to rub Courtney the wrong way that because of Kim, there is this perception that she doesn't have a good work ethic, that she doesn't do anything with her life, that she's got her career solely because of uh, Kim and that, you know, she's basically like living off of that. I'm sure that's got to be like a sore subject for her because Everybody thinks that now, right? Like, why did she say to Kim, get that narrative out of your head? I work my effing ass off. Like, why would you say that? But she don't. Well, that's the thing. In her I mind. Mean, in, in my mind, she doesn't. Like, what is work? Like, work to make money or work, like, just lounging? Work parenting? Like, what 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 constitutes work in, in this scenario? Because... I, Nobody in this world, I think, can beat Kim Kardashian right now. Actually, in one uh, in this most recent episode, she says she wants to learn how to say no more and like be calmer and like do things. Not what was uh, the exact words? Like she doesn't have to occupy every single hour for something. So she's always on a magazine. She's always starting a business. She's always doing yeah. something. I mean, nobody can be at her level. That's understood. No, that's for sure. But that, but I think that's one of the issues that Courtney has. Kim's very similar work <laughs> ethic to her mom. Yeah, I think everything ties back to Chris. I think that because mm -hmm. they, you know, okay. So I think in, there was an episode we've done in the past where I talked about how like growing up oh it was about our um barbie giving you know some sort of body image issues to people and i i remarked on the fact that like barbie never gave me any body issues my family did you know mm -hmm. and and our extended family and the way that they refer to my sister's the skinny one and you know all these things i can imagine that for courtney maybe there was some of that going on where it was oh kim's the pretty one or kim is this or kim that because in the baby pictures the, the kids pictures of them growing up and everything Courtney has a very like distinct Armenian look to her while Kim looks more like of a doll and you know she's kind of more like um like you could put her like in in little um what's the the those shows that they put little girls the toddlers in tiara kind of girls like that's the that's the vibe you see like those pictures of Kim and Courtney and so what if growing up there was a lot of that for Courtney what if from an early age, it was always them pe being pitted against one another because they're so close in age. And then on top of that, her family, like, you know, was essentially broken up. That's how she felt by her mother. And so if Kim is similar to her mother and she has resentment towards her mother, then maybe some of that resentment is transferred over to Kim. Not mm -hmm. just because she's similar to her mother, but because they've always been pitted against one another. And Kim has only headed to that right because she's now putting them against each other she's now you know kind of basically put it into everybody's mind because of the fact that the show is watched by so many people that courtney does not do anything that courtney does not have the same work ethic if courtney and chris were the ones who were like okay so what's your thing can you imagine like again how we talked about when we reviewed um episode one of season four y'all make sure to watch it um we also mentioned how you know it's got to be like uh, a very difficult thing dealing with um uh the fact that your mom you know is is kind of like always Kim was a favorite and like all these different things where you're not necessarily being taken serious or not you know being allowed to like live the life that you want to live 
So your mom and your sister coming at you like, oh, well, what's your thing? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Like, that's rough, I would think. So I'm not excusing Courtney in any kind of way. But I think that there's a lot of stuff that can be, like, inferred from the life that she's led. The trauma, right? That's the other thing that we talked about um, on that review. The trauma that we grew up on, right? The things, and, and once we get to a certain age, it's on us to deal with that trauma. It's on us to heal from that trauma. But Courtney's never going to be able to heal from her trauma if she's still there. And that, mm-hmm. was, that was the other thing. She is still there. She needs to, like, move somewhere. See, but I think that it, it's in, in another, I think of the opposite. I think that probably Kim became the favorite because everybody was ganging up on her. Like, what what did parents typically do? Like, with the stronger ones, you know, they kind of be like, no, oh, they'll leave them alone. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, the XYZ ones, you know, but there's one that you kind of have to like take care of, you know? Right. So we saw in the earlier seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, they were always picking on Kim. Rob, Chloe, Chris. I mean, no, Rob, Chloe, Courtney. I don't even know if Bruce, now Caitlyn, used to at this point. You'd, it yeah. was always something like, let's pick on Kim. Kim this, Kim this, Kim this. So yeah. I think in one of the episodes, Chris said, well, Kim is the only one that treats me well kind of yeah. thing. Because, you know, we saw stints with Chloe where she was just mean to her mom. Yeah. You know? uh, Courtney has always been kind of like dismissive with like everybody. Right. But, you know, a little mean to her mom as well. Um. So I just think it became maybe a favorite because that's the daughter that treated her well or paid her more attention or probably even it was more most like her. Now, to show that preferential treatment is another thing. But I think it was just because of circumstance, because they were always picking on her. And like you said, she recently kind of got her voice. It seems like, you know, she's just not letting... Courtney like run all over her kind of thing yeah yeah and I think in to some degree Courtney had to have changed because look at her her relationship with Chloe it's yeah it's different they're trying to be um what do they call it what do they call themselves Laverne and Shirley what were they yeah that was Courtney and Chloe yeah they they try to do the whole Laverne and Shirley kind of thing but it's just not sticking they're like, oh, let's hang out together. Let's do this. Let's do that. But mm-hmm. why is Chloe with Kim now? Right. You know, why did Rob leave the show? Like, why is Chris sometimes siding? Yeah. I mean, with Kim. Okay, we'll leave that. But Kendall and Kylie, the most recent ones. Yeah. In, in the not Courtney chat. Like, <laughs> now it seems like she has beef with her younger sisters. So yeah. at this point, something is pointing to there's something wrong with Courtney fundamentally. Yeah. Yeah. Not that, you know, the rest of the Kardashians are blameless because I'm sure, you know. Right. They do their things, but I think there's something seriously wrong with her. (laughs) I wish she would fix it because she's just ruining the show for me. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe now that she is going to have a new baby, that'll be her time to, like, get away and stay away. Get away? No, you know Chris is going to be like, I have to record this. This is season five, girl. Right, but that's the thing. Does Courtney really want to do that with another child? Like, this is a different relationship. She's actually married now, you know, and does Travis want to deal with that, right? Because now it's not just her. It's not just what she wants to do. Scott was along for the ride all the time, but, like, does Travis want to deal with that? Travis is a grown-ass man. He's got two grown kids himself. You think he wants to deal with the BS that this family like kind of deals with and everything? Like, I would assume he would be like, girl, stop. (laughs) Take care of this baby and that's it. Like, you know, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll see how how everything turns out in the next, in the coming months because she should be having a baby any moment now. Mm -hmm. So this is my prediction or my final thought. Uh If she shows this baby... Or if there's a storyline around her and this baby and Travis in future Kardashian episodes, I stand by saying she wants her cake and eat it too. Yeah, I'll agree with you. Yeah. 
She doesn't want to be a part of the Kardashian stuff, but she can't help it because she still wants to be relevant. She still is kind of like Kim and she it probably she hates that to her core. Yeah. And she still wants the money and the notoriety and the fame. Like if you really want to get better, you would stay away, girl. You have Poosh now, whatever that's making. What else? What is she? Oh, you got them them vitamins. Let me eat vitamins. You got those let me vitamins. Isn't that making you money? Plus, Travis Barker, he got buku money. Now you don't really have to worry. Right. So so what's the excuse? Yeah, no, that's true. I think the Kardashian brand doesn't need you. I think you, she's alluded to not wanting to be a part of the show. I mean, we've, we've already touched on that as well in the past. That, like, at the end of the day, it's the Jenners now that need to take over. It's really they not. have been. I'm surprised. I'm proud. Yeah, they have the spotlight. Involved. They they have the six month uh, mark of announcing their relationships and concerts. Yep. You know, PDA world tours. Kylie went on a family trip with them. They actually were a part of most of the first episode. They mm -hmm. did a double confessional together. Like. It was actually nothing dumb, like like driving or horseback riding or whatever. It was something of a little substance. Right. They're stepping so, up. So, so Courtney, it's okay, girl. Fall back. Por favor. That means please. Oh, please. Please do. Please do. All right, guys. That concludes today's video. That was nine instances of Kim versus Courtney feuds. Right. Plus, we, we didn't even touch on the, the latest one, which is kind of still reminiscent of, know. you know, the Dolce, okay. the Dolce drama. But let us know what you think. Did your perception change now? Is Courtney the problem? Is Kim the problem? Are they both the problem? Yes, they are. But whose side are you on? Please tell me Kim's because Courtney is walling out. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a Nick Cannon kind of way. <laughs> um, so if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our videos. We're trying to grow our community and we're happy to report that we have. So your friends could be our friends and we could all be friends. And that would be, you know, a great feeling. We love interacting with you guys in the comments and, you know, phone calls, whatever, you know. <laughs> However, we talk to you guys. Uh, we also have uh, social media, which Dee will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out, D N E. You guys can follow us there, like, share, comment. We do and we definitely enjoy having our interactions with you guys. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye bye.